Bundler is a scaling solution for Arweave, and Arweave is a decentralized storage platform like Filecoin and Chia. However, in Arweave, you only have to pay once to have your data stored permanently, securely, and sustainably. Since the success of Bundler largely depends on how Arweave continues to work, we first talk about Arweave a little bit. Basically, how the protocol works, it matches people who have hard drive space with people who require permanent storage. The project has been on the mainnet since June of 2018, and it has acquired over $22 million in funding between 2017 and 2020. It sounds like a cloud built on blockchain, however, it is not exactly that, because for clouds you pay either monthly or for data retrieval every time. And in the RV, you only pay once, and you have your data stored permanently. And that's the main appeal of it. So what is the role of Bundler in this whole system? Because it is a scaling solution, the main aim is, of course, to increase the usability. First of all, it increases the upload speed. And as they claim on the website, it increases the upload speed by over 3000%, which is quite a bit. So how do they do that? Basically, Bundler works in bundles. Duh. <laughs> Instead of channeling all the data that users upload to Bundler straight to Arweave, it first collects all the data that users upload throughout two minutes and then submits it to Arweave. So basically, it works like caching. And it does so every two minutes. Every two minutes, it collects all the data and then uploads it to Arweave. The second way Bundler increases the usability of Arweave is by accepting major cryptocurrencies apart from the Arweave native token. So if you want to use Arweave straight away, you would have to have the AR or R token. And uh, for Bundler, you can use ETH, you can use SOL, you can use AVAX, and there are quite a few others. Bundler works on top of existing blockchains and layer 2s, and it has already been integrated with some of them, such as Polygon and Arbitrum, which are both scaling solutions for Ethereum, also Avalanche, ZigSync, and Wobo Network, and there are quite a few others. I think there are overall 13 blockchains and layer 2s. In itself, Bundler is a proof-of-stake network. Free validators make sure that the data is moved from Bundler to Arweave in a certain period of time. However, only one of the validators need to make sure and say, like, sign that the transaction has been completed. And now let's have a look on the website to see the investors. And I have my laptop here, rweave.org, which is yeah, quite understandable that they invested. You have also the OpenSea, which is an NFT marketplace. And this is quite interesting because Arweave is a storage solution, right? And NFTs have a problem with how you have your data stored because Yes, you have um, NFTs on the, the Ethereum network, but Ethereum was not built for storage, and it's quite complicated and expensive to do that on Ethereum. Solana uses Arweave to store its uh, NFTs and NFT data on Arweave. And because there are so many NFT games, for example, built on Solana, and Solana stores like 90% of its data on Arweave, Bundler should be quite popular with uh, NFTs uh, as well. That's my thought initially when I saw the OpenSea. Uh, permanent Ventures, Hypersphere, Framework, and Race Capital. Some of them are not exactly just crypto venture funds, so some of them are more like just general technology and IT related. And uh, none of them really stand out too much. However, they're just a solid enough of a list, I would say. With these investors, Bundler acquired $5.2 million. It was just one seed round, and there is no Bundler token yet. However, I just assume there must be one because, uh, yeah, you use it for utility. There is no tokenomics in the docs, so you have to look for the announcements and any token news on Discord. So how can you participate now? The first round of the Ambassador program has just been closed last week, so you can start making content to participate in the second round, but what is more relevant at the very moment is a testnet. It was launched on the 13th of July and is still ongoing. Since it is the first testnet and there are assumably going to be three of them, not all the functionality is available, so you cannot run a bundler yourself, you can only set up a node. And the requirements for the node are actually quite light. There is only 8 gigs of RAM, 4 core GPU, 250 gigs of SSD storage, and the bandwidth is the only thing that probably stops you from running the node on your personal computer and setting up, you would probably have to set up a server to have 1 gigabyte per second for download and 100 megabyte per second for upload. And that was it I wanted to tell you about Bundler. All the links are in the description and see you in the next one.